Hello and welcome everyone, Lionel here and today I'm reviewing two uh, more Mad Cats Titanfall Edition products. We're looking at the Rat 3 Titanfall Edition and the Glide 3. Uh, I'm going to put those boxes over there. Uh, if you didn't already check out my review of the Freak 4D, please do go check that out, that is in the description. But today we are looking at this bad boy, the Rat 3 accompanied with the gaming mouse surface, the Glide 3. Okay, the Glide 3 I'm going to do very quickly because um, surfaces wise I think they're, you know, I don't think there's a huge amount of difference to them generally uh, aside from obviously what they're made of and the size. Now some of them I found are a bit too big. This, to be honest, is the perfect size for me. Its di dimensions can be found on the product page. But some of them are absolutely huge and I don't have that much desk space. So actually this worked pretty darn well. Um, so obviously the texture, it works really nicely. It's nice and smooth for the laser sensor on the Rat 3 and other mice that I've used it for. Cannot fault this at all. Um, it is £14.99. Um, you know, obviously it's a bit step up from your standard mouse mat that you might buy for a couple of quid down the supermarket. But, you know, some people say they won't make a difference. Some will say it does. Um, personally, you know, my mouse moves nice and smoothly. It does its job. Um, I'm not really going to give it a score because I think it's one of those things that if you like it mainly because of like the branding and what's on it, you'll get one. Um, you know, there are reasonable mouse mats out there. I don't. Th I think there's good mouse mats and there's crap mouse mats. I don't think there's much in between. This is a good um, gaming mouse surface. So I'm going to whack that back on down. There we go, the Glide 3. Link to that is in the description. But this is the bad boy that we're here to look out. Uh, look at mainly and I haven't unplugged it because obviously I want to show the various lights and settings on it I'm just going to move a mug out the way and a speaker otherwise I'm going to get caught up all in that so this is the rat 3 now um, there are various versions of the rat there's the rat 3, rat 5, rat 7 and rat 9 and they all do various different things they have more features they have weights in them some of them are wireless and things like that so this is the baby of the group now this retails at 69 pounds and 99 pence didn't have a chance to check what the standard rat 3 price is uh, but that is expensive for a mouse a gaming mouse this has a dpi setting of 3500 it does have a very good laser sensor. This is probably one of the best um, sensors I've seen at the moment. Uh, it works very well indeed. Um, I have actually previously owned a Rat 5. Now the Rat 5, um, the bottom part of this you could adjust down. As I said, kind of each rat with a higher number adds more and more features as such. So this is kind of, as I said, this is the lightweight one. Um, you can't adjust the bottom, you can't adjust the thumb um, bit at the side, and you can't adjust the rest over here. Um, so there's no adjustments to the actual body. The Rat 5 and higher up rats can, you know, pull that out, put weights in it to make it slightly heavier. Um, you can push out the wings and what have you. So it is kind of with the rats, it's basically get the rat that suits you. If you don't need to adjust any of that stuff, get the basic Rat 3. If you want one that adds weights in and does a little bit more adjustment, Rat 5, Rat 7, Rat 9, and so on. Um, but the Rat 3 Titanfall Edition, uh, as obviously this is, this is coming down from a Rat 5 for me, but I was very happy to use it. I've been using a Gamdius Zeus for quite some time. That is quite a big bulky mouse. The thing I love about the rats, and this is something that not everyone is going to like, and probably one of the biggest points about it, is its shape and design. Um, it looks awesome. To me, this is a cool, futuristic styled looking mouse, and with the Titanfall um, you know, art, art style on there, I think it looks even better. I think it really does look very cool. Uh, now, this doesn't have half the features or even half the DPI of the previous mouse I was using, which was up to 8,200, but that is overkill for DPI. Personally, I don't game at anything over 2,600 DPI um, for most of the time, so this is more than enough for me. Anything else is overkill. What this doesn't have that other mice will have, um, in particular, you know, the higher up rats, is obviously extra buttons for kind of MMO gaming. Um, uh, the Rat 5, which I really liked, had a precision button here, which you could press and hold down, which was great for sniping enemies because it would slow your DPI very uh, right down to the lowest setting. Um, and then you could very slowly move around for that pinpoint shot. Obviously, it doesn't have it, but what it does have is a simple back and forward button um, that you know you can again you can assign to other buttons in game. Left and right mouse, and then here is its DPI control in the middle. You touch the bottom of it to take it down a DPI level, up to go up a DPI level. And when you do that, the lights on the side here you probably can't see, but they go up and down. There we go. 
um, from the lowest setting, which I think is around 450, up to its maximum 3500. Now you can configure um, the various levels that you're setting it to um, with the software, which I'll show you again in a moment. Um, you also have three various profiles that you can change between here, and this light shows them all with different colors. So we've got a red, we've got a blue, and uh, we've got a purple. Uh, back to red. So you've got three different profiles. Um, personally, I don't really need lots of different profiles, especially on a mouse where there's no extra kind of MMO buttons, but it's nice that they have that option in there. And again, it's nice you can configure that with the software. Scroll wheel, nice and responsive. Um, on the underside, obviously, you have the laser sensor, and then you have these little pads here. Now, something I will say from using a rat before, these pads do wear out pretty quickly, and they're, as far as I know, that you can't, well, it doesn't ship with any replacements. You might be able to contact Mad Cats themselves to see if they'll send you some. Might be worth looking into. Um, this is a plastic body. The higher up rats start using some metal components as well. So, um, certain parts of the mouse do feel cheap. It's incredibly lightweight, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, again, because it's quite a small mouse, which can fit nicely um, for most people, depending on the grip they use, um, I think this can double up well as you know a portable laptop mouse that you can take away for traveling and gaming on the go. Um, it's nice and small, it's flat as well, so it doesn't take up too much space. That's quite a, a positive, or I quite like that, because a lot of big gaming mice that you you know you might have the big wireless ones or something like that you know you've got the dock to take with that you've got everything else to take with that as well whereas this you know plugs in via wireless the cable is nice and strong and well protected braided um yeah i'm i'm i think it's a, it's a good mouse but it's price that's the problem i have with it it's it's marketed at 70 pounds and the fact that there's i that i know about the other rats generally kind of does make me go eh, really I know it's, it's a nicely um, built mouse, yes it's out of plastic and not the metal components, so for some people that might feel a little bit cheap. It has a nice finish on it though, and I don't know if that's perhaps just the Titanfall um, design on it or, or what, because obviously I don't have a, a normal Rat 3 to compare it to. But um, it does feel nice, but the weight to it, and you know, you will grab it at certain points, particularly on this side here where it hasn't got the Titanfall stuff on it, that does feel quite cheap. Um, it seems reasonably strong, but it is obviously plastic, so... Um, for that, that's why I'm kind of saying mm, the fact that it doesn't have higher DPI settings, which is what will get some people, but as I've said, DPI isn't everything. Uh, a good mouse, uh, a good laser sensor is, is probably more than that, which this does have. Um, but the fact that, you know, you can't adjust various parts of it, you can't put weights in it, you can't pop out the sides, you know, to get the optimum positioning for your hand, and that it's marketed at £70. I think my Rat 5, when I bought it, was something like £60. Um, maybe I got it on a really good deal somewhere. But personally, I feel this mouse should be marketed or, or would be a better price point around about the £40 mark. Probably there's somebody at Mad Cats going, he knows nothing about pricing. Probably not. But, you know, that's just for mice that I've used. Um, the Rocat... Um, Pure Optical that I recently reviewed. Um, personally, I think that has a few more features that um, this doesn't have, uh, or a few more buttons. Um, but they're kind of similar price points, and the, the Roncat Pure, I believe, is at around about the 40, 50 price pound mark. Obviously, fair enough, you can probably add on a tenor for the Titanfall um, art styling on there, but bar that, I, I don't only think it's worth £70. Pounds. Around about 40 to 50 would be. Um, what I would expect to pay for this. Maybe you can find a good deal on Amazon or something like that, but a link in the description to GameShark, which I believe handles uh, Mad Cat's purchases in the UK, is available, but that is at £70, but you can find more product information there. So, uh, before I wrap up this review, I'm going to have a quick look at some of the software, and then I'm going to give it its score. So this is the profile editor for uh, Rat3. You can download all of these from the Mad Cats website. Link will be in the description to there. You need to download drivers and software to be able to access this. You may well need to restart your PC as well. So you start off with it identifying the product that you have. Settings, and we can see the various levels um, that go to the various buttons. So... Um, At the moment, they're all being defaulted to 3000 DPI. We can reset to defaults. There we go. Glitched out. So, mode 1 is 450. Uh, mode 2, second light, will be 900. Mode 3 will be 1800. And mode 4 
will be 3,500, and I've just done that on the mouse as well, moving the mouse around. Obviously, you can set these however you want. I actually have found um, 1,800 to be fine for most gaming, but you can push that up a little bit to... Um, 2000 odd or something like that if you need to and you can do all this as well you can activate a different profile change the different modes here so you have the three different profile faces the blue purple and red you can obviously have a look at the underside of it all for the sensitivity and you can change the sensitivity if you want lowering it down for the cursor and that is it so you can change different profiles so for settings, if you want to change um, different DPI on mode 3 here, we're just going to whack it up a little bit to there and hit apply. And now it doesn't actually change the numbers, which is a, a smidge disappointing, but that would be, I guess, around about 2,000 odd. So it would be nice if you could see the actual um, number that you're setting it to, but I guess you just push it up to whatever setting that you want and then you just hit apply. So very basic um, but simple software. Now time to give this bad boy a score. So now we've looked at the software that goes behind this bad boy, it's time to give it a score. Now, I've been pretty biased throughout this review, I'm not going to lie, I really like rat mice. Uh, I love my Rat 5 and coming from uh, the Gamdia Zeus, which is a great mouse, back to a Rat 3, um, you know, one step lower than the Rat 5, actually, I, I normally it takes me a couple of weeks to get used to a new mouse, the shape, but for this I fell right back in, it was like riding a bike. Um, the shape for me is probably one of the best, um, for me personally anyway. I like the low profile look, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of big bulky mice, and you know, this ticks all the boxes in terms of design. It's minimalistic, yes, it doesn't have all the extra MMO buttons and things like that, but this is the Rat 3, it is the lowest of the Rat tiers. Um, so if you want more buttons, more customization, probably a slightly sturdier build, not so much plastic, because the higher rat, ra uh, higher rat mice have more metal uh, involved in their um, construction and what have you, then look at one of them. It's about finding the right mat, uh, rat for you. But, um, score-wise, the rat itself, um, there could be, uh, you know, it could be slightly sturdier um, in design and... Um, Apart from that, I really like this mouse. You know, for a basic mouse, it does everything it needs to do. The mouse itself, I would give it a 9 out of 10. But, this is the Titanfall edition, and it's um, priced um, at £69.99. pence. I've just had a look on their website. I didn't know earlier in the review, but I've had a look now. The normal Rat 3, the non-Titanfall edition, is 39 99 So, you're adding £30 on for Titan... For the Titanfall look, which it looks nice, don't get me wrong, but £30 for that I'm afraid is not enough. If they were throwing in a copy of Titanfall with it, then I would say, yeah, that's a good deal. But as far as I can tell, I've looked and there wasn't a copy of Titanfall, as far as I could see, in my rat box. Um, I can't say that this is worth £70. As I, as I said earlier, I, I was saying around about the £40-£50 mark. The Rat 3 on its own, the non-Titanfall edition, is £39.99. That is the perfect price point for this. As, as I said earlier, I so the person I said that um, probably Mad Cat's marketing or, or whoever handles all the, um, you know, obviously the price cost, probably the you know product manager and things like that, you know, for Rat 3, spot on. That is, I would agree with that. But for Titanfall, yes, it's a game and get all the support and stuff, but I don't think £30 for a skin on a mouse. I don't think that's worth it over the, the standard product. So for the, the whole pro the product as a whole, I'm giving it an eight out of 10. Um, yeah, I probably could bash it down a little bit more in, in, in terms of price, but the, the the mouse isn't that much at fault. The price is, I would say, is the big issue here. So if price is a big issue, but you really like the look of this, just go for a normal standard rat. A link to one of those will be in the description as well. Um, but if you really, if you're a massive fan of Titanfall and you've got to have everything Titanfall, then this will complete your collection. It will look really nice. Um, it feels great and the mouse itself works really well. So Titanfall Edition is available at an extra £30 um, on top of the standard Rat 3. But for that you could get yourself a Rat 5 or maybe even a Rat 7. I haven't looked at their prices. So it depends what you want basically. Um, if the look and appearance is more important to you um, than extra features, then there you go. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our, this review of the Titanfall uh, Mad Cats. Rat 3. Please do check out all the links in the description that I mentioned, and please do check out my Mad Cats Freak 4D headset review as well. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Ciao for now.